My name is Ben with Building Code Tips. I want to touch a little bit on building code. What is building code and why can it be so darn confusing sometimes? Well, I'm going to try to clarify that for you just so as a homeowner, you kind of know where the inspector's coming from or why your buddy's telling you you can do it one way and you try that and yet your inspector tells you you can't okay so building code is a set of rules right it's a set of requirements it's the minimum baseline um, for whatever project it is you're working on nowadays there's code for just about everything there's code for energy for fire for building for mechanical for electrical you name it there is a code book out there for it um, when it comes to the united states for the most part icc international code council is who has developed the bulk of code requirements for the United States. There are some outliers, right? There are maybe some states, some cities um, that have developed their own building code or their own uh, I mean, mechanical code or whatever it is that might be specific to their state. Or they may have, each state may amend the codes. And that's where things can get confusing. Uh, each state adopts code at a different rate. So what I have here is the 2018 IRC. So that's the International Residential Code. This is the 2018. Code books are updated every three years and each state adopts them at a different rate. So where I'm at, we're still working under the 2018 code. I just did some continued education for and uh, my uh, the, the teacher that, for that particular course so they were still working under the 2015 code and had just moved up from the 2009 code. So they skipped the 2012. And so you can see how it can get very confusing depending on where you're at, right? It's like, well, I got a buddy that lives over in this state. He moved over. He told me, oh, yeah, you can do it this way. You do it that way. And then your inspector says, no, you can't. Well, because you might be working underneath a different code, right? And the codes may have been amended and adjusted and changed. And then to throw another wrench on top of it, each state then amends, makes changes to the code that they're working under. So like I said, we, where I'm at, we work under the 2018 code. And if I lift this up, all the orange that's in there are amendments to the IRC, meaning the state has adjusted, changed, uh, deleted, added information in regards to this book. So when I show up and I go do inspections, I have to not only know the IRC, which is the minimum baseline, but I got to know what the state changed. And why do they change them? Well, they could change it based on whatever the state that you're in's priorities are. Where I'm at, they're all about energy, right? They want to be more energy efficient. And so there's a lot more codes tailored to energy efficiency. If you live in a high hurricane area or earthquake area, your codes might be adjusted to be a little more strict on those particular sides of things, right? You might have to put in more metal connections or do a few other adjustments to make sure that, you know, you can handle more wind or shaking if it, for an earthquake, right? Um, so you can see it's like, oh man, you know, my buddy comes over, he tells me I can do it this way, but then the inspector says you can't. Well, now you kind of know how that might come about, right? Um, we, as an inspector, I run into it all the time. I run into older gentlemen or, or contractors who, uh, who say, I've been doing this for 30 years and I've never had to do it this way. I said, well, I mean, I don't know where you've been doing it for 30 years, but here for the past, you know, eight or nine or 10 years that I've been doing it, we've been doing it this way. Right. Um, so just kind of know that going into it. Um, and so then how does it, how do you make it simple? Right. As a homeowner, as a do it yourselfer, how can it be simple? Well, the cool part is, is the IRC, which is the book I just showed you, the International Residential Code governs any one and two family dwelling units. So if you're a do it yourself or you're working on your house, you should be able to work off of the IRC only, take all those other codes, right? All the, the International Building Code, which is for commercial, you take the plumbing, the electrical, the mechanical, kind of shove those aside and you should be able to focus on the IRC 
and what's inside of that. So then you just got to figure out, well, what, what code cycle 2018, 2021 is the, um, is your state working under? And eh, for the most part in IRC, it's pretty straightforward stuff, right? You're building a house. You might have to do a few extra things here and there. But if you kind of understand those components of the IRC, you know, and then you can call your building inspector. I would always suggest try to talk to the building inspector that's going to be in your area so you're not getting secondhand information. If you can get a hold of that particular person and say, hey, what are you going to be looking for here? I see that I need to do X, Y, and Z. Um, is there anything else I need to think about? And they might be able to help you out, push you down the right road. It always sucks to have to go back and redo something or have to go buy new materials because you accidentally did something you didn't know. Um, that's the purpose of building code tips. I hope this helps you out a little bit. Um, if there, if you're out there, you see this video and you have a comment to put in there about your state, what code you're under, anything to help people out. That's what this is all about. Help other people uh, find a path so they have the information they need uh, to do their projects successfully and, uh, and be proud of it.